second step of finishing our black forest cake. We're going to take the cake from the fridge where we've let it set up and we're going to do all the finishing process. So we're going to take our ganache with our frosting, frosting spatula and we're going to go ahead and do a nice border along the sides. There's no need to worry about the top. We're going to be covering it with the cherry filling from earlier. So just make sure you can get it on thick enough that you don't see the cake necessarily, but you don't want to drown it in ganache either. So just kind of going all the way around. And then we smooth it. And we want to just smooth these sides down over the edges so we have a cleaner border to work with. With our piping bag from earlier, which we used for the um, border on the inside, we're now going to do a border along the bottom. Just kind of doing a nice scallop, squeezing and stopping, just to clean it up along the edge of the cake. Now what we're going to do is take our other pastry bag with the larger star tip, and we're gonna fill it with whipped cream to create a border along the top edge of the cake. Put our whipped cream in the bag. Shake out any air bubbles that might get in there. And we do a nice, I like to do an alternating shell along the top. You can do exactly what we did on the bottom, just a single scallop. And once we have this nice top edge, we can basically go ahead and fill the inside with the cherry filling, smoothing it out. You don't necessarily use all of the cherry. You can put as little or as much on as you'd like. And I'm just gonna use the offset spatula to kind of smooth it, get it as close to the edge without messing up the whipped cream. And as a nice finishing touch, I like to take some chopped up chocolate. You can use uh, chocolate chips, chocolate shavings, and just kind of sprinkle them around the edge to give it a little more and we're done.